Drop a little this guy emoji if you've never tried fasting before. All right, so one thing that we're gonna be doing on the gut cleanse is be doing the typical intermittent fasting 16 to eight. This is just a time restricted eating where you will be resting your digestion for 16 hours and giving yourself eight hours to get your food in. So a typical schedule might be that you start your first meal at 11 and you finish at 7 p.m. Or you have your first meal at 12 and you finish at eight. Now, I don't expect for you to just jump right into a 16 hour fast tomorrow if this is your first day. So you have to build your appetite just like you have to build your muscles and this takes a little bit of time. If you're used to eating breakfast at say 8 a.m., tomorrow I want you to try nine. And then the next day I want you to try 10 until we find that sweet spot and push that first meal back just as far as we can. Do you know who said that the term breakfast is the most important meal of the day? If you guessed John Kellogg from Kellogg Cereal, you'd be right. Okay, that was a million dollar marketing slogan. Actually, the most important meal of your day is your breakfast meal. So I'm asking all of you guys to break your fast with bone broth. This is going to be the best way to break your fast. It has natural healing gut properties and it also includes the amino acids proline and glycine, which are there to repair your gut. So get prepared, grab some bone broth packets or make your own. I want you to break your fast with a cup of bone broth, followed by some lean protein and some good fats. You never wanna have carbs as your first meal to help balance and control your blood sugar levels. So think about some chicken, eggs, vegetables cooked in butter, avocado, a good sausage, any kind of protein and fat as meal number one. There are so many benefits to fasting. One of them is something called autophagy. You're like, Otto, what? Okay, so autophagy is the process of all of your old cells recycling with fresh new ones. And that can only happen after that 16, 17 hour fasting window. Okay, so when you get those like, you know, those hunger pangs and like you really wanna like break that fast early, just keep telling yourself that your body is going to work it is literally working to help you repair all of your old cells, replace them with fresh new ones. And how cool is that? The problem is that most people are constantly eating, right? We're snacking all day long. We're having our meals right before we go to bed. We wake up, we eat first thing in the morning. Your body never gets that chance to rest. So on this 10 day gut cleanse, I really encourage you to push that 16, 17 hour fast to be getting maximum benefits. There's only a couple of things that you can consume when you're doing a fast, okay? Number one, obviously water. You can drop in some lemon essential oil, you can squeeze some fresh lemon inside. That will be my go-to. Number two would be black coffee. And I love this because it's also an appetite suppressant. You can drink sparkling water, you can drink apple cider vinegar. This is another appetite suppressant. It also helps to crave, curb the cravings. So take a tablespoon, apple cider vinegar, mix it with some water. You can do any kind of green tea. You can even do some LMNT electrolyte packets. I love these electrolytes so much. They have sodium, magnesium, potassium, and they will help replenish the minerals that you're using, losing during this long fast. Okay, uh, another good one is cinnamon or cinnamon essential oil that helps to regulate blood sugar levels and also will help curve the craving. The nutrition plan is the cornerstone of the challenge. Not only is it gonna cleanse and heal your gut, it's also gonna amplify your metabolism. And we do this as a group challenge because we have the support of each other. It's only 10 days of removing processed foods, sugars of all sorts, and replacing it with real, whole, clean foods. And if you have any questions, send me a direct message.